Greetings and salutations, this is Domingo Martinez, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to determine the amount of times your button is being pressed. And we're going to go ahead and print that information out on our LCD screen. So for the LCD screen, I didn't do anything too fancy, I just wired it up according to the schematic that's on the Arduino website. So if you go to Arduino, type in LCD screen, you're given the schematic as well as an example code that you can manipulate. So I'm going to go ahead and use that information to help me out. So if I go to my circuit schematic and I go to the code, all I did was I took that information, I copied and pasted it onto um, Tinkercad circuits and I just kind of tinkered around to make sure that it said button count. So if I start my simulation, you'll see that it is say button count. So now we're going to go ahead and press the button and it's going to read that information and it's going to display it in our LCD screen. So before we get started, what we need to do is we need to create a variable called button. So I'm going to go ahead and create that variable. And in my case, I already wired this button. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to pin eight. And I'm also going to create a variable to store the information. Every time I press the button, right, I want to be able to store that information. And I also want to be able to count it. So I'm going to just go ahead and create another variable, call it count. So before I can utilize my button, I need to set it as an input. So in void setup, let's go ahead and set this as an input. Now we can go ahead and read every time we press the button. So in order to do that, we need to go ahead and type in digital read. And we're going to read what's coming in from our button. All right, sorry about that. I had my value being read outside of the void loop. So I just went ahead and copied and pasted that in my void loop. So now that I'm able to read the value coming in from my button, so every time I press the button, it's going to read it. And I'm going to go ahead and display that in my LCD screen. So I'm going to display that on the first row, but in this case, it's uh, row zero, which is considered the first row. So if I go ahead and start simulation, it's displaying the amount of buttons being pressed. Or in this case, it's just reading, it's reading zero. And so every time I press it, it's going to read a one. So I'm going to use that information. So I'm going to stop my simulation. Now I'm going to create an if statement. So in my if statement, if my value is turned on, so if my button is being pressed, I'm going to go ahead and count that. Uh, let me create another variable called press. And that's going to be equal to um, the initial value called counts. And it's going to add one each time. So first I need to set count to zero. Otherwise, it's going to give me an error. So count's going to start off at zero. And then every time I press it, it's going to add one more. So let me go ahead and, well, it may or may not add one more. Let's determine what it would actually do. So if I select press and start simulation, if I press this, notice it's kind of incrementing in a specific value, and that value is based on how much I press it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and compensate for that by creating a delay. So I'm just going to delay 0.25 of a second and see what that does. So now every time I press the button, it adds one digit to it. Cool. So now you know how to count the amount of buttons being pressed with this little function here, the plus plus. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can add to this. So 
I'm going to stop my simulation. I'll call this button count. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that information on the following row. So I'm going to display that on the following row. And I'll call this press. So button count is one, two, so it's just going to keep counting in the iteration. And you can add to this or you can change it up if you want to. Instead of add by one each time, you can subtract by one each time. So if I were to click on the button, it would subtract one each time. And if you want to create some, maybe some linear type of equation where you have, you have y equals mx plus b, for instance, where your x is considered the count, right, or the press variable so we can add it each time actually I need to make this an integer variable so that way it reads it why was not declared in the scope so maybe I should create the variable up here All right, so there you go. And every time you press the button, it's gonna change by two times that amount plus five. All right, thank you very much.